Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating a polynomial expression, a quintic, using a given equation. We're given that x squared minus x is equal to 1, and we're going to evaluate x to the fifth power minus 5x based on the values of x that comes from the first equation. So, I'll be presenting two methods, even though there's more than two ways to do this. Maybe I'll briefly talk about it, but I just want to present two methods today. All right, let's start with the first one. For my first method, I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a quadratic equation. Kind of put everything on the same side and solve this. And you'll probably realize that one of the equations, one of the, I mean, solutions to this is the golden ratio. Awesome, right? Isn't that amazing? So we can write this as 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Those are the roots. Now, suppose it's one of them. Now, does it matter? It doesn't. You're going to realize at the end that which, whichever x value you choose, it doesn't matter, but you can always test it out. So suppose x equals 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Now, I'm going to go ahead and evaluate this x to the fifth minus 5x based on this x value. How can I do that? I can just go ahead and plug it in directly. 1 plus root 5 over 2, raise it to the fifth power, minus, multiply it by 5, and subtract. Awesome. But how do you raise this radical expression to the fifth power? You can definitely use the binomial theorem, but instead of using that, I'm just going to keep squaring it. So I'll take 1 plus root 5 over 2, and basically just write it as, you know, the fifth power of this, I can write it as the expression squared, and then squared again, and multiply by itself. So that's going to give you the fifth power of 1 plus root 5 over 2, which is the golden ratio. Awesome. Now, how do you square this expression? It's kind of easier than, you know, raising it to the fifth power. You can definitely use the binomial theorem, but simplifying this is a lot easier. Uh, this is a plus b over something, so I can write it as 1 plus 2 root 5 plus 5 divided by 4. That is the square of the expression. And then, of course, this needs to be squared and multiply by the original number. This is 1 plus 5, which is 6. So this is going to give you 6 plus 2 root 5 over 4. But I can go ahead and simplify this, like divide everything by 2. That gives me 3 plus root 5 over 2. But again, that needs to be squared one more time because we're looking at the fifth power, which contains the fourth power. So now to square that again, you're going to get you know, 9 plus 5 plus 6 root 5. This time I just switched the order. Doesn't matter. Times this. We're getting there. And now 9 plus 5 is 14. 14 plus 6 root 5. And we can divide everything by 2. That gives us 7 plus 3 root 5 over 2. Multiply by 1 plus root 5 over 2. So this should be the fifth power of what I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and distribute this. 7 times 1 is 7. 3 root 5 times root 5 is 3 times 5, which is 15. And then I get 7 root 5 and 3 root 5, which gives me 10 root 5. So you can go ahead and distribute. That's fairly easy. And from here we get 22 plus 10 root 5 divided by 4 as our fifth power. Remember, this is just the fifth power. And I can simplify this as 11 plus 5 root 5 over 2. This is the fifth power of what, you know, I've been looking for, right? So... And, but my expression contains what? The fifth power. I'm sorry, this is not the fifth power. This is the fourth power. And uh, did I multiply by itself? Yes, this is the fifth power. Okay, I'm confusing myself. So what we're going to do next is uh, plug it in here. So I got the fifth power minus five times the expression is what I need. So to wrap it up, this is what I'm looking at. One plus root five over two to the fifth power minus five times one plus root five over two is what I'm trying to evaluate. I got this fifth power. This is one plus root five over two to the fifth. Remember, I uh, calculated by squaring twice. So it's going to be 11 plus five root five over two minus, if, I, if you go ahead and distribute the five here, you're going to get uh, five plus five root five. I'm still keeping the positive sign because I haven't uh, negated the expression yet. And then if you, they already have a common denominator. So if you subtract these, you're going to get 11 plus 5 root 5 minus 5 minus 5 root 5 all over 2. 5 root 5 cancels out. Isn't that magic or math magic? Then 11 minus 5 is 6 and 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. 
Awesome. This doesn't bring us to the end of the video because we're still going to look at the second method. Let's go ahead and look at the second method. Okay, now remember the question was, if you know that x squared is x plus 1, then what is the value of x to the fifth minus 5x? And like I said earlier, if you use the negative version, you'll still get the same answer. You should. You can test it out. For my second method, I'm going to do a polynomial approach. How? What's that supposed to mean? To get to the fifth power, I'm just going to work with, I don't care about the x value, but I care more about how can I express x to the fifth uh, in a linear way. Make sense? Because if x squared can be expressed, then every power can be expressed uh, linearly. So x cubed is going to be x squared times x, which is x plus 1 times x, which is x squared plus x. But x squared can be written as x plus 1. So this is going to be 2x plus 1. To summarize, x cubed can be written as 2x plus 1. And now let's go ahead and find out what x to the fourth power can be written as. x plus 1, uh, it, it, x to the fourth, by the way, x to the fourth can be written as x cubed times x, which is 2x plus 1 times x, which is 2x squared plus x. Now x squared can be replaced with x plus 1, so we kind of keep doing it. That's what I meant by the polynomial method. And from here we get x to the fourth equals 3x plus 2. That is my x to the fifth power. And let's go ahead and evaluate x to the fifth power now, which is x to the fourth times x. But x to the fourth can be replaced with 3x plus 2, again, a linear expression. And now we're going to distribute. That's going to give us 3x squared plus 2x. And x squared can be replaced with all the time, right? This is our key x plus 1, and that is 3 times x plus 1 plus 2x, and from here, x to the fifth can be written as 3x plus 2x, which is 5x plus 3. Now, we now know that if x squared minus x is equal to 1, then this is true, but how am I going to use it in my solution? Well, the problem was asking for the value of x to the fifth minus 5x, and if you replace x to the fifth with this, 5x plus 3, and then subtract 5x from it, you're going to realize 5x cancels out, and you end up with 3 as the answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.